This is your girl ready to do another video real quick. Now one four, which is the county of New York. We are in the motherfucking house. We go to work tomorrow night, not tonight. We go to work tomorrow night. And it is what it is. Let's talk about the shower area in a prison. In the prison. I did most of my time at least correctional. Let's talk about the shower areas of SCDC. Oh, we going to talk about it. Because them days I used to get off my job, get my change of clothes and my towel and my soaps and all that, go into the shower area. I'm minding my own business. And when I come out the shower, because when I come out, I usually come out, even though I have my clothes there, I put them in a, a plastic bag, whatever. When I come out the shower, I got a towel wrapped around my waist. It ain't no <laughs> wrapping the towel around your breast. The towel is wrapped around your fucking waist. You are walking around like you are a dude on a, a basketball court. That's how we used to do shit. There used to be a lot of fights in the bathroom area. Not on the day room floor too much. Not in the cells. Not the Top cell, not the bottom cells, but a lot of the confrontations used to happen right in the fucking bathroom area. I remember those arguments that those women used to have with each other. They used to fight over the microwave. They used to fight over the washer and the dryer. They used to fight about which, um, you know, shower stalls you used. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And I remember all that. Now, if you had a, a girlfriend in prison, let's say she was overly aggressive. She usually came with a strap on. Usually those women came with strap ons. Because at the prison I was at, they used to make the dentures. They used to make the false teeth. So they knew how to shape those materials into becoming dildos. Oh, yes. I remember. I remember like it was yesterday. I was in my 20s then. I'm close to 50 now. I'm 49 years old. I will be 50 in a few more weeks. I'm going to tell the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. What happens in prison. Mm, especially when you be on these compounds. A lot of bitches used to walk around with shanks. Oh, yes. Yes. A lot of these bitches used to walk around and, you know, do what they do. Because we all did it. We go under the gazebo, find the girlfriend. The girlfriend ain't doing right. We slap the shit out of her. Slap the fire out of her fucking face. And everybody grabs their face. It <laughs> means <laughs> There was one bitch in Leith Correctional that I was in love with. Oh my God. And um, she um, had another lover. And I remember those days me and the other lover used to fight each other about this one bitch 
this one woman. Oh, she got out of prison not too not too long ago. She got out. But I'm just saying how the shower area, uh, the shower area, that bathroom area in prison is your discord. It's your cash app. It's everything. The comment section. <laughs> That's what it is. Can they go there, they congregate, they talk with each other. They beef with each other. They fight each other. And it's all over. But my thing is when you get that black box over your hand, you can't even stand to your full height. This is state prison. State, South Carolina. SEDC. Inmate. Yes, I remember. And Big Dot used to wear that black box over her hand. I'm sorry. She was chained to the belly chain. She had the leg shackles going. And when she would come out, she never stood to her full height. Big Dot was truly big. She was humongous. And she used to call me Diana Ross because I used to have a lot of hair back in those days. <laughs> oh, was, oh my goodness. Oh, I was young. And I went through a lot of shit in prison. I didn't make it out on my own. I had girlfriends. Just like how we be on YouTube and we talk to each other every now and then. I had girlfriends and they would send me kites or they would put money on my books. Every time my family came to visit with me, they was in the visitation room. Every time I went to the church area in the prison, they was there. Every time I went to the cafeteria, I used to sit by myself unless my girlfriend was with me. And a lot of women didn't want to be around me because I was somebody that I'm short. I'm like five feet. A hundred and something pounds. I was like a hundred pounds then. I was overweight then. And um, I used to sit there and eat my meals, enjoy my food. And then when I would get up, the other women would approach me. Yo, Ray, what's, what the fuck is good? And we would get in fights, get in arguments. It wasn't sweet in prison. Because a lot of times, these women, they will pretend to be your girlfriend, and they will rape you. Mm -hmm. Don't let a woman tie you up. Uh-uh. When you go to prison, do not let a woman tie you up. Because they're going to kill you. Not on purpose, just by mistake. It happens. I'm talking about my prison experience. I'm talking about what really goes on in the penitentiary. But in the later years, they're trying to stop all sexual communication with these women. You cannot stop women from having sex. You cannot stop us. We go on, that's where the shower area is about. You go in there, you're taking a shower, the woman comes in, you're hugging, you're kissing. Next thing you know, you're having full fledged out sex. 
You get out the shower. You go to your your cell. You tell the roommate, look, I'm getting ready to have a guest. And the woman comes in and the roommate walks out. Now, what happens when the roommate walks out is nobody's business. But I'm going to say, any woman I dated in prison, I remember their names. I remember their faces. I remember their smells. Mm -hmm. I remember all that. How their skin felt. And I was always gentle with the women. Gentle and sore and, and, you know, talk to them and read books with them and, you know, cook meals and, you know, have birthday parties. Child, that's when my freakiness came out. <laughs> Learn I was a freak. But I didn't. Release it again until I was in my 40s. I became like 46 years old, 45, and I started doing all that sexual stuff. I used to rent out motel rooms, hotel rooms, just to have orgies. A lot of times, me and my girlfriend be on the bed looking at everybody else Fucking each other. That's why I talk about the sex magic. A lot of people say, well, very, oh, um, that's very demented. That's very demented. It is what it is. Now I'm going forward with this county, New York. We are in the motherfucking house. And we're going to be here for a little bit. I'm getting tired. I'm getting sleepy. I already cooked, I already cooked my dinner. I already took, you know, what other avenues I need to take. I'm good. The house is clean. Body is clean. Clothes are clean. Everything is done. Except for my soul. My soul is not clean. My soul is hungry for something. No more boyfriends, no more girlfriends. I'm by myself. My soul is hungry. Peace out, New York love.